This episode is brought to you by Taylor's Baked Goods, okay? Now, every single day, we all eat, you know? We go outside, and, you know, we go to restaurants, and we, we afterwards, you know, we like to get something in our bellies. For dessert, I mean, okay? And I, and I ain't talking about no pussy. I ain't talking about no pussy. I'm talking about some cold, hard desserts, okay? Whether it's cake, cookies, pussy, it doesn't matter, dude. All right, listen to me. Taylor's Baked Goods has them, okay? Check out Taylor's Baked Goods on Instagram, all right? Every single time, you know, I, 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 I'm craving something sweet, you know, and I'm broke as fuck, all right? And I don't got the cash. Daddy always has the cash. But <laughs> um, Daddy always has the cash. Um, just kidding. Um, but make sure to check out Taylor Spade Goods, dude. All right, because when I when I'm broke, dude, I'll go on there and I'll just start fucking window shopping. I'll eye shop, dude. Okay, you know I had this one friend. His name was Steven. And it, well, it wasn't a friend, but, you know, we ha I had class with him. And this motherfucker wrestled all, you know, was just this nice little white guy, okay? And every time I'd go into class and it was wrestling season, I'd see, you know, I'd see him, you know, on his phone scrolling, just looking at shit. I'm like, dude, what are you looking at? He was looking at McDonald's, the McDonald's menu. Just looking. Like, you know, he looked up the Whopper, was looking at how it looked. And he was just window shopping. He was eye eating. Because he was fucking losing weight or whatever, cutting. And he had to just, you know, eat through his phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just like, that's what you can do with Taylor's Baked Goods. All right? Check out Taylor's Baked Goods on Instagram. All right? And tell her Edo sent you. Okay? Tell her Edo sent you and she might give you a little discount. Okay? And there's so much in her catalog. And if you don't like what she has, ask her if she can make it for you, then she can. Then she might as well if she will. Yeah, it's quite so. <laughs> so, yeah. Check out Taylor's Baked Goods, our only sponsor for this week. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Oh, dude. How's it going, my 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 ladies and gents? Yes, quite so. <laughs> um, you know, life's been pretty fucking good, dude. All right, if you guys had a good week, welcome back. All right, if you guys had a stressful week, I'm sorry. Better luck next time. I don't know, but seriously, guys, um, what's it called? I got my brother this past week. You know, let's talk about life for a second. You know, because you know. I feel like you guys like to get a little bit of me out there. You know, you like to know a little bit about me even more, okay? So, um, this past week I ordered, or last week I ordered a computer because I'm building this little tiny PC for my brother. And I'm running on it right now. And I can run 1080p on this computer that I got from my brother, but I can't run on my other computer because of my graphics card. I have... Uh, a 750 Ti, whatever the fuck that means to you, but I can't record full 1080p HD unless I have a better graphics card on my other computer, so I'm just running this shit right now, seeing how it is, and dude, it is fucking whip your snapper pretty fucking fast, if you ask me, boy, okay, you know, it's an i7 Intel CPU inside, dude, what more do you fucking need, man? You got all the frames per second when you play those high intensive games. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm happy as fuck that I got this from my brother. Um, I'm jealous, honestly, because I'm pretty sure the CPU is better than my CPU that I have. So it's kind of making me a little jealous. But um, no, you know, let's talk. Let's talk, my, my ladies and gents. You know, I come here all the time. You know, I have nothing to talk about, usually. I kind of just bullshit. And you guys, like, that's the thing. I mean, with every podcaster, dude, everybody's just bullshit. It's just bullshit. Unless someone really has a guest on, or they have a really good topic they want to talk about. But really, right now, I'm just bullshitting. 
just so I get better at public speaking. This is nice. And you guys come here and watch it. If you guys fucking like it, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. I, I appreciate you guys for coming here. Welcome back. This is episode 36. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You know, yeah, dude. Um, it's been weird the past couple, past, past couple of weeks. You know, I just, I just want to talk about one thing, dude. You know, I, 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 I can tell when loyalty, you know, when someone has loyalty, right? You can really tell. Or when you, when you, you can tell when someone's really genuine, you know, what's it called? I was playing games on my computer or whatever, and I posted a gaming video. I got an old friend hit me up and just asked me, oh, dude, how's that? How's it going, man? How's the whole setup? You know, like, how'd you, how'd you get to like play all that shit? And I'm like, well, I got a computer I'm running all this stuff, I'm playing a game, you know, I'm just doing my thing and I record it. And the guy's like, oh, sick. Let's hang out. You know, if this, if the person watching this video, you know who I'm talking, you know, who I'm talking about dog, you know, who I'm, I'm talking about you. Okay, if, if this person, I doubt he watches my podcast, but an old friend hit me up. I, this is, it didn't bother me then, but now like it was like lingering on my mind the past couple of, uh, couple of days, just cause like, I don't know. I started, re I realized the past couple of days, how fucking friends really mean a lot to you. You know, whenever you got a friend that you can just fucking hang around with, just bust each other's balls and, you know not have to like worry about your friend fucking talking shit on you and to somebody else. You know, that's a friendship. That's a good fucking best friendship dog. And like with this dude and he hit me up and was like, Hey dude, let's chill. Just because I had some shit going on and I was being productive, man. Now you just hit me up to ask and ask me to hang out and shit. Whack. Whack. Don't fucking talk to me, son. All right. Don't fucking talk to me. Cause I don't need that shit. All right. It's so stupid. You know, like cherish your friends, dog, because motherfuckers will be so goddamn maniacal and, and selfish and just never fucking care about other people. So like, you gotta, you gotta find those good ass people that'll help you, you know, that'll help you become a better person and shit. You feel me? Like I got my one friend. My boy Farouk, dog. You, you might as well not even. You might know him. That man's a good dude. You feel me? He's a good guy. I can rely on someone like that. But you got motherfuckers being fake, just hitting you up because now you're doing some shit. Don't be coming at me like that, dog. You can't be coming at me like that, dog. Shit. It's fucking more stupid than that Jesse Smollett dude getting released. Listen, man. This is what it, that shit was so stupid. Because, I was literally, I caught myself literally talking about something else right after. Oh, we'll talk about Justice Smollett. Dude, listen. This man got exonerated because Michelle Obama helped him. I think she had, like, her attorney or something help him out a little bit. But listen to this. This dude comes out, he's like, I claim my innocence. Shut the fuck up. Open the door. Fucking put your head right in the crevice of the door in the door frame and fucking smash that shit with your hand. Dude, what are you lying for? And the people that, you know, and the people that still stand up for fucking Jesse Smollett, get out of here. Are you, what are you doing? Who, who are you standing for? A fucking bitch, dude, are you kidding me? This is what I, this is how I was like thinking about this the other day, you know, you know how murder, like a person murders someone, you know, if it's not, let's say, uh, I don't know, you walk up to somebody to hit you and then you fucking hit them and you just murder them. And you're like, oh fuck, dude, I just literally killed another person. I committed murder, you know, but if it was premeditated, you know, like you planned it out, you know, you fucking researched your shit, did everything you needed to do. And you're like, oh no, you know what? I'm going to go kill this person today, this exact way, at this time, premeditated, right? What is the difference between someone going out, faking a hate crime, producing hate crime, and then they just get out exonerated? This was pre 
meditated. This dude paid people and they said they wore MAGA hats and the, and potentially called them gay and hit, like, you know, just a, whatever. Like he got hit. The story was he got his ass beat by dudes because he's like, oh, I'm gay. I'm homosexual and I'm black. And they were wearing MAGA hats. That is creating diversion. That is like you're dividing people on purpose. Instead of saying, hey, let's just let's just converse. All right. Let's get each other's ideas out. Let's fucking bounce each other's ideas and ideologies off each other. Maybe we can learn something. But let instead, let me make this about myself. Let me premeditate this hate crime, which is isn't like hating somebody for their fucking skin color discriminate isn't that like a felony or some shit like you just can't do that anymore but that's okay for people to just create diversion like that that's fucking cool but like how and he gets exonerated and 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 the and the and the reason why he got exonerated was because oh you shouldn't be going to jail for 18 counts or whatever when it was just one count but it was so many times that he made the Chicago police go out and look for the shit and for this made up crime wasting police is like the police department's time and then he gets exonerated and you know how much the fine was that he had to pay to the Chicago police department 10,000 oh my god are you fuck this is the thing man if you got money or what like you you, you just have some sort of power law doesn't abide to you like you just fucking it doesn't matter and that's the point that fucking sucks man and even the mayor the judge were all like yeah he's guilty he's an awful person like wasted the the police department's time created such awful shit for people and and like the thing is you go on his instagram people like oh i'm still supporting you i you I, i still got your back jesse like chris rock said you better as well call him jesse he said, Jesse Smollett, he's like, what a waste of light skin. <laughs> That's so good, though. <laughs> Chris Rock is so fucking good for that. He was like, what a waste of like light skin, man. He's like, you know what I could do with that light skin? <laughs> he's like, I'd be running Hollywood right now. It's fucking true, though, man. Like, goddamn, what a waste. Not even a waste of a light skin. What a waste of just, like, talent. If you're an actor, I mean, I don't know. He was on BT or whatever, that fucking Empire shit. No one watched and I mean, I don't watch that shit. That's, like, like black soap opera. The same thing with, like, Turkish soap opera. Only, like, fucking specific people watch that shit, man. And, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, you know, in my mind, I was like, well, when someone does premeditated murder, they go to jail for a long time. You know, they go for jail for a very long time. But when someone premeditates something like this, it's like, it's not, it's not the same thing. It's, oh, you're not taking someone's life. But like, this could have like resulted in people getting angry and then someone even dying. You know, it's just like, I I don't get that shit, man. You know, you know me, dude, I don't, I don't discriminate against anybody. Dude, my whole life I was taught by my parents. It's like, if you hate somebody because of their religion, skin color, whatever, makes you an awful person. doesn't make you a good, strong human being who is compassionate. Because compassion, where's the compassion anymore, huh? What what happened to people just loving each other? You know what I'm saying? What happened to the 70s and the, the hippies? Dude, even people think the hippies was a conspiracy theory that at Woodstock and shit, you'd have fucking CIA agents walking around just observing people tripping balls, you know, that's a whole different story, (laughs) but, um, yeah, dude, I grew up, man, listen, this is, this is how, even though, as a kid, when I came, when I first came to America, you know, I was, people fucking treated me like shit, man, I didn't speak English that well, just because I, I was just, I was white, I was white, and I was still getting discriminated against, because of like, I couldn't speak English that well. I like, I was an ESL for so goddamn long trying to learn English, dude. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? And also as a kid, I would tell people, Oh, 
yeah, I'm Muslim. Because that's what my background was. You know? And you know, the people's reaction, man, was fucking... Like, you know, you're Muslim? At the, you know, as a kid, you know, now I'm just like... Nah. You know, you, you it's just a different brainwashing thing, you know? I, I'm just not up for it right now. Or probably never in the future. But, um... It's just, it's wild. You tell people, yeah, I'm Muslim. And they're like, dude, you're white, though. I'm like, brown motherfuckers don't run Islam, dog. Or maybe they do, but I, I, it doesn't matter. But I would, listen, dude, my parents like, you gotta, you gotta respect people. Dude, I grew up hanging around with everybody I could. People that, even people that were too embarrassed to hang out with me, I still hung out with them, dude. Okay? Because I was funny. Motherfuckers knew I was funny, but I wasn't the popular kid. And you know, the, you know what the key was? Sports. Play some sports. Fucking, if you're in school and you're having a hard time just making friends, having a ball, dude, all you gotta do is fucking play some sports. You're like, oh, but I can't play sports. I got a bad back. Listen, man. Shut the fuck up. Go outside and do some sports because that's how you make friends, man. That's the only... That's the only way I made friends. Before I I did sports, all I hung out with all I the only person the only people who I hung out with foreign kids, all foreign kids. Nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong, okay. But I don't like being fucking stuck with these kids my whole damn life, man. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to make some new friends. <sighs> Y'all motherfuckers don't understand, cuz. And you know. People, this is the thing, dude. I, I feel like this is why people are so fucked in the head. They just don't have real friends. You know what I'm saying? People just stick with this one person they forever, like they knew forever. And they're like, oh, that's my best friend. I'm like, that's how disasters happen. You know? That's how, like, that's how you become so close with someone, supposedly. You don't even, you don't even know what the fuck they're going to do. They could be the worst person. You just think they're the greatest. But you got to, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Jesus Christ. I had an idea and I just like, started talking anyways listen people if you got some foreign kids around you you know let make them feel your make them feel at home okay or you can bully them bully them like how i was bullied and then they and then they grow up and become more funny and and more strong and learn to become just master puss masters dude you know what i'm saying seriously but um yeah other than that, dude, nothing much is going on, man. I'm trying to plan a trip to uh, Seattle again soon at the end of this month or, like, a beginning of May, you know? <laughs> Sorry, snot rocketed so hard. You know, people, you got to travel, dude. And, you know, I, my, my excuse is for traveling. I got a girlfriend, dude. You know, I just go out, have a good-ass time with my girl-girl, you know? Oh, oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But seriously, man, like, I'm trying to go see my girlfriend probably at the end of this month, just cause, like, dude, listen, school has been rough. School has been real rough. I got an awful grade on my fucking project this past this past week. But I'm I ain't, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I still gotta strive. But that's the thing, dude. I will go to class, and I will participate, and I would do so much fucking work. But once when it comes to just one little project or something and it goes wrong, whole grade is just fucked. You know what I'm saying? How is that any, like, how, how in any, like, way of learning, how is that logical? Like, you give me shit, I'm learning, I'm doing my, I'm putting my time in, okay? I'm investing precious time into learning your dumb fucking shit, your dumb ass whatever, basic fucking class, I'm learning, and then you add some hard shit, I, I do my best, I get an awful grade, how is that rewarding at all, and like, oh, the way you did it was not the way I wanted it, this won't matter, hey man, help me out, this class won't matter when I'm out of here, help me out, instead, no, I'm going to make this harder for you. The fucking logic behind that shit, man. Or like, listen to this. 
so I forgot to do like one of my assignments for my biology class, which was like 50 points. Like I, I forgot. I didn't even notice it. I didn't notice it was even due until like it was unmuted and I saw my grade and I was like, fuck. I, I emailed her and I was like, hey, do you think I can just redo it? I can do it because I had no idea. I was busy with school and class and work and shit. You know, it just went over my head. You think I could redo it? And she's like, yes, but I'll give you half points. Gee, fucking thanks. So I was at an 80 something in that class and I went down to low 80s because... I just didn't have that 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 project or that uh, assignment due. It was 50 points. I got 25 out of 50. She said, oh, she'll give me half. Went up to like 83. I have an exam in that same exact class on Monday. Take the exam. Get a 90 on it. My grade goes up 3%. It is a 100-point test. That makes no sense! That makes no sense! Please, can someone make, they're like, oh, it's, it adds up. It's 150 points and the, the way it accumulates. Nah, dude, I got a 90. My fucking grade should have boosted and it didn't boost. It fucking pooped. It fucking shat on me, dude. It's just, you know, I just, I could always complain about school, but I don't, dude, universities, dog. College, man, if you are contemplating college and you just really don't fucking think you're gonna like it don't go man do a trade do like something that you can you know be your own boss it like right now dude my dream would to just be doing this for a living youtube because i get excited as fuck for every video every time i'm about to record gaming or a podcast i get so fucking excited like, even when I don't have shit to talk about, like, right, dude, I'm bullshitting right now, okay? Even when I don't have something to talk about, I'm venting, or, you know, it's like I'm in a room with a bunch of people, and I'm just, like, talking, and it helps me, because I, there's this thing, man, like, nobody fucking really cares for, because school, you're learning all your life, you go to school, get out, have this fucking job, this corporate job, or whatever, and that's what you're going to do for the rest of your life. I can look at that and tell, like, say, you know what? I don't want that to be my life, dude. I can have that as a job, but people change careers all the time. I'd have gladly taken a corporate job, save up some cash, and then fucking bounce, dude. Dude, I'd, like, I'd rather do this, okay? You got to find something where you can see progression, like slowly seeing it. Because that shit matters, dude. Okay? When I first started this, I, dude, I was so fucking nervous. Talking was, like, so goddamn hard. Even after, like, every podcast I would record, I would have to go shit my pants. Because I would have anxiety. Anxiety shit. But it's just me in a room. Nobody else. I'm just talking to a camera. You know what I'm saying? But it's those kind of things. Those are, that's, like, good anxiety. Okay, you have fucking tests that you have to take and like you're just, you know, your stomach's hurting. You, you, tell, you can tell that you have anxiety the whole fucking day. That's awful anxiety. That, fuck, that shit, that, that takes life, that takes years off your life. But fucking good anxiety, man. Right before you're about to do something fun as fuck, you get excited and, and hype. Before I record a podcast, dude... I do like my own like stretching ritual before I do it just because like I know it's going to take some little energy out of me. Okay? Motherfuckers don't know, bro. You got like you can't just go to school and have this fucking degree and just think like, "Oh yeah, dude, this is going to be the rest of my life." Dog. You got to have something that like just just that like, you know, you can track. Like like something like this. what I'm doing right now. I've slowly been seeing how good I am at just, I'm getting better at talking, you know, at, before, I mean, my grammar is still fucking shit and I curse a lot and I still, blah, 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 I'm fucking dyslexic and I always say words before they come out because they're all bundled up in my goddamn head, but I can see, I can see progress. Like I'm every fucking day, every single day I can like notice I've, I'm using the word like less. Um, I have a I'm such a like easy time 
talking to people. Whether it's just random people in my class and I have to be in groups and I'm just talking. It's so easy. It's literally the easiest fucking thing now. And I, I, I can't even stress that enough. So after just ep- like 36 episodes, after 36 episodes, I can tell you progression happens, dog. Like, I, I'm not just coming on here and fucking half-assing shit. I've been doing this the whole time. Like, the past episodes, every episode I ever talked about, bullshitted. I just had a conversation, and it will lead on to the next thing, because that's what's natural, dude. You know, maybe sometimes before I have topics to, topics to talk about, just because, like, I don't know, I fucking, I always see other people who have, like, topics ready for their podcasts and shit, you know? I just don't know if that's, like, I mean, I'll do it because, you know, it keeps me on track. But at the same time, I don't know, man. I get on here and I bullshit so well. And it's so nice for me. And I just thank you guys for fucking coming here. And people listening to this, thank you. Okay? Thank you so much. But, uh, yeah, dude. You know, it's it's been just a decent fucking week, dude. I, I get paid next week. And I'm just trying to buy this plane ticket, man. You know, I just... I just, listen, dude, I'm going to be moving to Seattle in the future just because, dude, I can't, I can't be living here, dude. It's too much, but, um, yeah, so let's, you know what? I got a surprise for you guys, you know, let's move on to the Instagram videos, dude. I got the Instagram videos back. Okay. We're back to the, what did Addo save this time? You know what I'm saying, boys? You know what I'm saying? Right now, let me show you the first video, dude. The first video, you guys know how much I you guys know how much I love fucking UFC, dude. I love UFC. UFC's the shit, okay? And or any cage fighting just in general, right? And there's this guy, what's his name? His fucking name is Michael Pereira, okay? Michael Pereira is a fucking beast. All right? Michael Pereira walks around at fuck he looks like a heavyweight dude but the dude he's fighting in this fucking video the only way i can describe him is just your local chinese food restaurant owner all right so let's fucking take a look at how he just demolishes this man okay look at him doing backflips for the people at home this man's doing acrobatic backflips in a fucking fighting cage jumping off the cage just destroying this little asian man Okay? Watch this next... What? Watch. I mean, he gets hit right there. But look at this motherfucker. Does a backflip off the fucking fence. Kicks him in the goddamn head, bro. Now, that's a fucking... Sh- Listen, that's one sport that motherfuckers, you just... You, you can't really critique. All right? Unless you're just... Unless you've fought. Okay? If you're a boxer, UFC fighter, and you just finished. All right? You're like, you know what? I'm done with my career. The best thing for you to do commentating who else can do a better job than you some fucking guy who studied boxing and it's at a school doesn't never fucking fought in his life or a guy who killed his brain cells for the fucking money hey at least give him some fucking uh, give him a new job give him a commentating job now okay that dude took some cte points you better fucking give him some goddamn cash give him a new job get him a new fucking commentating job because that's what he needs you know what i'm saying that's the one, that's one fucking sport. People always critique like, oh, fucking, in soccer, I do the same thing, man. I'll see a formation. I'm like, dude, if they play with this fucking formation, they would win. Fuck, why are they using this player and not this player? Maybe there's so many, there's so many fucking things that come into play for a coach and I'm here talking shit. But that's one thing you can't really do with fucking UFC. You're like, oh, dude, you should have fucking did an arm bar. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? the fuck are you talking about? You don't know shit, man. Neither do I. That's why I just sit back and I'm just like, oh, the, the fighting is so good. I fucking just love that shit, man. Even back in the day, dude, pride. Motherfuckers never talk about pride, dude. That's when you used to fucking kick people in the head. Be- on the ground, son. Okay? People would be literally concussed almost just almost concussed on the floor from getting hit and you know what's coming dude a fucking soccer kick to your goddamn temple that's what pride was that was japanese cage fighting 
or not even cage. It was in a ring. Japanese, and that's where fucking what's uh Rampage Jackson, Wanderlei Silva, fuck it, dude, you name it, dog. Motherfuckers grew up in that goddamn place. I don't know if Leoto Machida was in Pride. He, he could have been. There, there's so many. F- look up if you're listening to this. Look up Pride Knockouts. Just go on fucking YouTube. Look up Pride Knockouts. Oh my God. It's going to make your fucking skin crawl, dude. Like just, it's insane. There's just one where most famous one of Rampage Jackson, dude. Power bombs. Now motherfuckers don't know what a power bomb is. That's when you grab a goddamn dude, lift him in the air. And he probably has his legs wrapped around you just because he's, that's all he can do at the moment. He's like, oh, and at, as soon as you get lifted, you know exactly what's coming. You know exactly what's coming. But the thing is, Rampage Jackson had him by his by his neck, I'm pretty sure. You know what? Let's check this out, dude. All right? Let's watch this shit. Because the thing is, no one understands the real fucking, the shit that goes behind doing this kind of stuff. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. It's already on there fucking for us. Rampage Jackson slam. Ultimate Rampage slam, dude. You know what I'm saying? Fucking shitty ass goddamn ads. Well, let's skip here. Look at this shit. All right. She's fighting this right. Look at this slam, dude. Slam heard around the fucking world, dude. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Fucking picked him up, slammed him. That's pride, baby. That was back in the Dizzy, man. As a kid, I'd be watching this shit. This motherfucker just gets knocked out from a power bomb. Dude. Are you kidding me? Look at this shit. Just a first off, roids. You know, absolute roids. Don't get me wrong. I'm not fucking sitting here and saying he's not on roids. Everyone was on roids back in the day. Those were the good old days. You feel me? Fucking slammed his ass. Look at his head just fucking bounce off the fucking. Either way, dude, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing. You just, one fucking sport you just can't really critique, you know? You just don't. I don't. You know, I can, all I can do is just sit there in amazement and just, like, imagine this dude right here, this fucking guy, this Asian dude at the bottom. I don't even understand what's going through his fucking mind when this dude's flying around the goddamn cage. Like, you gotta be an absolute animal to just fucking be in that mindset of going in a goddamn cage and trying to fight. Either way, motherfuckers are crazy. Next video, ladies and gentlemen. I saw this video of Amazon, and um, honestly, dude, let me, real quick, Amazon's fucking shit was not, you know, look at this. Oh, God. Look at this. These little drones are just flying out. Man, this fucking music too is just like... So calming. But at the same time, you just want to like... Poop on your chest. Please. Poop on your chest. Can I just poop on your chest? Poop on your chest. Alright, anyway. So what's going on in this video, for the people who are at home listening to this... Um... Amazon has a blimp, basically. A uh, fucking AC-130. AC-130 inbound! Um, they just have an AC-130 dropping little drones, and I'm pretty sure they're, like, delivering packages or something, man. But, like, is that the future? You're just gonna fly fucking Amazon blimps everywhere? You know? I don't know. I thought that was cool, but at the same time, you know... I just, you know, I, this is the future, I guess, man. Like, fuck, if you're gonna want your packages, like, shipped so fast, then I guess this is it. I just didn't think this was, like, fucking possible. I don't know how that is lifted in the air. There, I don't know what that is. Those are just big-ass fans lifting this fucking, this blimp or something. I don't even, dude, it's an Amazon blimp. And the comments are like, new episode of Black Mirror looks good. That's true, bro. It's a fucking AC-130 in the, in the sky, you know? That AC-130 is just fucking flying around, dropping these little drones that are just going to destroy everybody. Like, fuck, dude. Jesus. But, like, 
Ah, dude, I've, I've talked about this before, man. Amazon, dude, I'm telling you, dude, Amazon, Google, especially Google. I feel like Google, fucking Facebook, they're all going to turn on us, man. Like, I, just in the future, man, I can just fucking, I can just tell. There's so much stuff that's being just tracked, our information all the fucking time. And the, I just saw this new thing. Everybody's, like, advertising on their podcasts. Like, it's this thing where, like, oh, it's this new thing where when you're on Amazon, uh, it helps you find, like, a cheaper, like, price any on any other website except Amazon. Well, now, not only is Amazon tracking what you buy, but this fucking little tool, this little... This little, like, thing that, like, helps you find other cheaper prices know exactly what you're fucking buying. So now you got two companies. You got two companies. I put fucking four. You got two companies now that are just looking at what you're buying. Now, when when people always complain about that, I don't see anything wrong with that. You're seeing what I buy. I just don't like when it's thrown in my face, like, suggestions, suggestions and shit when I'm on, like, Instagram, you know? For, like, weeks, I was looking at a graphics card trying to buy a real cheap one for this new computer and never ever have I mentioned it before started looking it up on Google whatever and it just pops up all on my fucking timeline on Instagram like all those promoted ads that put up on your Instagram that's like people are like that's so fucking weird I don't think it's weird I think it's like hey man why are you blatantly doing that it pisses me off because like if I want to buy something, I'm going to fucking look for it. Stop suggesting it more into my, like, buy it, buy it, buy it. That's when I'm like, that's the point of, like, Amazon, Google, fuck off. Let people buy shit when they want. You're just throwing shit in their face just to, like, entice them. That's that. That's what I, that's what I get from ads, like, Instagram ads, Facebook ads. All that shit is catered towards you just to force you to buy. And people are like, oh, what are these companies doing with our, with our information? They're selling it to the third party companies. What do they fucking want? You know how valuable information of what people buying is? Dog. They sell that shit. They're like, oh, what are these people in America, in Pennsylvania, specifically central Pennsylvania, what are mostly people, what are people mostly buying in that area? And how can we open up a business in that area to make profit? That's it. It's always been about money. Money, money. All right? And people are like, oh, fucking Facebook's with the CIA. You know, they do the face things for facial recognition now. So they have your fucking face on file. Motherfucker. My face has been on file. It's been in the passport. I took a passport picture. I took a fucking driver's license. You can find my goddamn face anywhere. I never understood that about Facebook either. Because they own Snapchat, I'm pretty sure. They own fucking Snapchat. They bought it? Or no. Facebook doesn't own Snapchat. Snapchat just owns itself. I'm thinking about Facebook and Instagram. Either way. The fuck? You know? That's the only thing I really don't like about all this new fucking shit with people with ads being catered towards us. I just think it's all about consumerism. Like consumerism at this point right now. It's not scary. It's fucking annoying. Like, dog. Minimum wage is still $7.25. Why the fuck are you throwing shit in my face telling me to buy, man? I gotta save up cash to buy shit. Okay? Let me buy it when I want to. Fucking, that's the that's the reason like Amazon's so ass. They just blatantly do it now. They don't care. They're like, yeah, we fucking listen to your fucking in conversations, and then we now we know what you want to buy. I don't know, man. I, I really don't care because, like, I have nothing to hide in my life. I'm not a fucking criminal. I'm not doing awful fucking shit. I'm not a drug smuggler or whatever. I don't work for the cartel, so I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide from the CIA. You can listen to this right now and suck my ass, dude. I got fucking nothing to hide. I'm a U.S. citizen, dude. Proud to be an American. Where I can shit in a toilet with a bidet and not a hole. You know what I'm fucking saying? God damn. Either way, dude. On to the next video, huh? Huh? On to the next video. So what the next video is, ladies and gentlemen. 
Listen, I, I, you know, I don't really fucking hate on shit like this, but just because, like, I don't know, it's like, it's a scenic fucking Instagram video, it's, it's very scenic, but, like, this dude's in his, in this house, this really, really fucking good house, let me see if I can zoom in on this, alright, this guy's in this house, there's birds in his house, in, in this hotel thing, first off, look at the fucking mountains that this fucking guy is looking at, or this bitch for, for, like, uh, uh, you know, for a matter, look at that, now, do rich people just get more fucking stupid when they get older? Dog, the whole house is open to nature? Is that a fucking tropical rainforest? You want a puma? A fucking jaguar to jump in your goddamn house? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just reaching a little bit right now because I'm jealous of these fucking people and where they are at the moment. But, oh my God. She's like, hi. You know what I'm saying? Dude, imagine fucking going out in the morning and just seeing that goddamn mountains. That is gorgeous, dude. Fucking earth is so nice sometimes, bro. But Jade Mountain, St. Lu Lucia? Where the fuck is St. Lucia? Or St. Luca? Lucia? On the Caribbean? Oh, it's in the fucking Caribbean. But... You know, man, like, I don't fucking know. What else can I say? You know, I, the thing is, I never, listen, my mom, my mom always said, you know, don't ever hate on another man for making some money and for getting some pussy, dude. All right? Never. Okay? I was always taught to always promote shit. But that was dumb as fuck. How can you live in a house like that? <laughs> oh, that's a big reach for me right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, dude, I just, you know, I dream too, man. I dream of going to those nice places too, but I've seen those houses, man. If you go on Netflix, there's this one, there's this one, uh, house. There's always like, oh, top 10 most expensive houses or top 10 most architectural houses. And there's, there's this one house that it's literally open, like no windows, no nothing like fucking birds are flying in and out whatever dog we live in and that and it was in like an attempt it was in a temperate like or it was a deciduous climate so like motherfuckers there's mosquitoes you're just gonna let mosquitoes in your fucking house what is that where's the logic in that like what kind of architectural art you know sometimes it's like it's like the same thing with mar modern art when they put like a pencil and like a fucking eraser next to it and they're like the eraser, the eraser signifies erasing life's mistakes, but the pencil, you know, it resembles and it, and it stands for all the mistakes and progress that you write down and make in your life. And the eraser erases all those mistakes. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. How about you just go ahead, lick my ass. Ah, like what the fuck, dude? Who, who the fuck, who the hell likes modern art that, like, that much? You know what I'm saying? And they go for millions. Millions. Some dude will pull up, put up a lamp and just put, and give it some personification, you know? Just like, oh, this, this thing, you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a human living its life. And after a while, you gotta change the bulb. Just like, you gotta change your career. You gotta change up your bulb. Hey man, how about you just lick my ass, huh? You're reaching. Oh my God, you're reaching, huh? Modern art, dude. Don't fucking tell me that's art. That's modern shit. Scheisse. That's a scheisse. My name is Ed Edo, and das is und das is scheisse. The fuck out of here, bro. Fucking Puerto Iro Banyo in this bitch, my my G. Fuck. I just got so passionate about modern art and how shit it was. I don't know. I'm sorry, dude. But seriously, ladies and gentlemen, as this podcast come to comes to another end, you know, Papa's sad. 
Papa's sad. <laughs> Papa's so sad. I'm just kidding. I'll never be sad, dude. I'll just be depressed. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I ain't sad, bitch. I'm depressed. Uh, I I ain't sad, bitch. I'm depressed. Uh, you see me rolling. I got this bitch talking to me like a motherfucking snitch. You know what? Let's put on a rap beat, okay? Let's put on a rap beat and just fucking rap, dude, okay? Why not, huh? Why not? Let's put on a nice trap beat, trap instrumental, and let's fucking rap, dude, uh huh? For the fuck? What, next level freestyle trap beat? Rap hip hop instrumental 2018 serious beats. Oh. 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 It's getting serious on this trap beat. Oh. Yo. 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 Ever since I was a kid. Not to mention anything, I just go ahead and suck on my dick. You be asking how the fuck is it that big? Yeah, I can suck on my own dick. Yeah, you walking around like you it is the shit. Nah, you's a little bitch. And your toes smell like motherfucking fungus. Don't fuck with me, bitch. Uh, I'm in the kitchen, cooking up something delicious for these bitches. And they give me kisses. One for the mistress, eh, one for the bitches, wh with the stitches. Yo, yo, y'all be eating ass. Yeah, I'm a dad. Watch me whip out my dick, slap you in the face. Don't talk to me that way, bitch. Because I'm sad as shit, bitch. Anyways, dude, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry for that. Seriously, dude. Thank you guys for watching the podcast, okay? Thanks for tuning in again for another beautiful episode here at Busty Buffalo, okay? Episode 36, down in the books. Written, written, smacking on bitches. You're written, dude, all right? Just make sure you, you smash the like a button. You smash the fucking comment a button. Comment something, dude. Go ahead, comment down below. And if you're listening, people, if you're listening right now and Wherever you're listening to, rate it. Rate Papa five star on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, whatever, dude. You know, give me, do me a favor, man. Okay, let me, let me just love you. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming seriously. Okay, everyone always comes back after week after week. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And um. I hope you guys have a great, beautiful day. Konnichiwa.
I love you.